Hey, I'm Chef Chris Scott. You might remember me from Top Chef season 15. You might remember me from Chop season seven or even beat Bobby Flay, you know? So we're in some trying times right now and, and it's really hard to kind of navigate through uh, entertaining, you know, but we're gonna do our best and we're still gonna put something on the plate. Just remember that nothing is impossible. So when it comes to good grilling, you can always start with a great product, either be it your produce, your fish, or even your meats. You always wanna start with something good. You wanna get the good stuff, it's very important. Now I know that a lot of you may have heard, you know, that there have been some sh shortages, you know, in, in parts of the country and that you can't really get your hands on some quality meats. But I'm here to tell you that Omaha Steaks has got your back. So Omaha Steaks is America's original butcher. They are a fifth generation family owned company that has been providing the finest and premium all American grass fed beef and gourmet foods for over 100 years. And you can see right here in front of me, we have the deluxe happy family assortment. You got your meats, you got your sides, you got your desserts. You know, it's everything that you need to have a proper cookout. And you can get all of it for less than $200. So if you're interested in picking some up, go to omahasteaks.com or you can visit any of the 50 plus locations all across the country. Now, let's talk about cheese. So, you know, when they ask you the question, if you're on a desert island and you know, it's your last meal, well, let me tell you, cheese would be that for me. I'm that crazy about cheese. Wisconsin actually is the state of cheese because Wisconsin wins more awards for cheese than any other state, region, or country. And you can see right here, I have some feta brine grilled chicken kebabs. I have some bruschetta with, with uh, crumbled blue cheese and fresh berries. Even on this cheese board, there is a cheese that's soaked in Merlot. It's incredible. When you're shopping for this, you want to look for the proudly Wisconsin cheese badge. It's gonna be on the packaging for sure, you know, but if you're gonna get it online, you wanna to go to wisconsincheese.com. So for more information on any of this, you can go to tipsontv.com. And that's it for me, Chris Scott. Happy grilling.